Hello everybody, welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today what we're going to be going over is how to make a simple Roblox main menu screen for your games. So, as you can see here, I already have some stuff set up. I already have the main menu UI set up, which in it I have a text label called game name. Let's label that and then you can put your game name here. Uh, I have a folder called buttons, which holds all my different buttons that I have in the main menu. And I have a folder called frames, which uh, holds all my different frames that I want to display on the main menu. This will be uh, this like model. This UI will be linked in the description. As well as in workspace, I have a part which will be our where the camera will go. So this is like a like a little scene that I set up just three trees, nothing really too major. Um, and I want the camera to when we're in the main menu, I want it to display these three trees so it'll it's labeled camera part it's anchored and the front of it is facing the scene so let's get right into the scripting so first things we're going to do we're going to go ahead and insert a um, local script inside of our main menu ui we'll name this handler we'll say local ui equals script dot parent local buttons equals ui dot uh call for job buttons local frames equals uh ui going away for child frames and then local game name equals ui colon wait for child game name so we're just defining pretty much everything that we have inside of our ui next up let's go ahead and parent that um camera to this uh camera part so we'll say Local camera part equals um, workspace colon with for child camera part. Then we'll throw in a repeat weight. We'll say local camera. Well, actually, we'll say current camera equals workspace dot current camera. We'll say current camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable we'll say repeat weight um actually no, no no we put this here so we'll say repeat weight uh current camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable until cam current camera dot camera type equal equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable and then we could say current camera dot c frame equals camera part dot c frame so let's go ahead and see if this works And as you can see now, we can still move around, which we don't want. We'll go ahead and disable moving around. You can see, I think we're walking onto the, yeah, you can see we're walking onto the main menu screen, but it uh, displays the trees and yeah. So let's go ahead and disable our walk speed. So to do this, we'll just go ahead and define the player up here. Local player equals game call and get service players dot local player. We'll get the character, we'll say, uh, character equals player dot character. Actually, we can just say we'll say character added colon weight. We will then say um, we can get the humanoid. So we'll say local humanoid equals character colon for child humanoid. Well, actually, no, we'll say find first child humanoid. Let's take this and put it here say if humanoid then um, humanoid dot walk speed equals zero humanoid dot jump power equals zero so in starter player you might be using jump height you can you can use jump height just say jump height equals zero but I'm gonna use jump power because it's just what I know so say humanoid dot jump power equals zero so let's go ahead and see if this works and it does not um we'll do this we'll say we'll just say player dot character there we go all right so it's working and as you can see we can no longer move um, and as you can see, walk speed is zero and jump power is zero. 
which is good. We don't want to be able to move it while we're in the main menu. So let's go ahead and code the play button first. So we'll say for I button in pairs buttons oops, buttons colon get children do. So we're, we're referencing that buttons folder that we have. That's that's uh, holding all of our different buttons we have. We'll say if button dot name equal equals play, then we'll go ahead and say um, we'll set a debounce here. So we'll say local debounce equals uh, false. If debounce equal equals false, then debounce equals true. We'll then say current camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom. And we'll make an event in replicated storage. A remote event. We'll name this destroy UI. And we'll say game colon get service replicate storage dot destroy UI colon fire server. And uh, we'll just go ahead and send over main menu inside those little parentheses right there. So we'll then say we'll make a new script inside of service script service. We'll say we'll name it destroy UI. We'll say local replicated storage equals game colon get service replicate storage. Um, local event equals replicate storage colon for child destroy UI event dot on server event call connect function um ui name if ui name equal equals let me see what it was main menu then another thing i forgot make sure you have player set before this so player comma and then write ui name this is actually getting the player so we'll say blah 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 we'll say if player dot player we really going find first child main menu then we'll just go ahead and grab this put it there and go ahead and destroy it like that so um that should work now we'll just go ahead and one other thing we will just go ahead and throw in a little wheat right there just to make sure we're not destroying it before we actually change that uh camera and something is not working. Oh, I know why. Because we have to say button dot mouse button one click colon connect function. And then we'll run this code. So we'll say just cut all that out by highlighting it and hitting control X and paste it in there. Basically what we're doing, we didn't set it so that we didn't set it to when they click it, so it was just destroying it. So let's go ahead and try now. And as you can see, we are now back in the game, but we can't move because we didn't reset the, uh, the humanoid stuff. So we'll say, we can just copy this actually. We'll say, if humanoid, we'll, and then we'll just set it back to the default that it was at. Let's go ahead and test this out now. And there you go. So, but in, in a main menu, we don't typically just have a play button. We have other buttons that do stuff. So let's go ahead and code those now. So we will say if button.name equals play, then um, we'll hit enter, enter on the, on the end with a comma. I mean, not a comma, a parenthesis, because this is for this function. So we'll say, um, Um, if button name else if we'll just actually we could just say else we'll say local targets frame equals frames colon find first child um, button dot name if target frame then button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then we will say um, target frame dot visible equals true say for I button in pairs 
um, buttons on get children do button dot visible equals false and then we'll also go ahead and set that uh, game name uh, label to false as well but we need a way to close it out and then go back to the button so to do this we'll say for I frame in pairs so we're start we're making a new uh, for uh, code not so we're not in the buttons one anymore we're in a new one for the frame so for I frame in pairs frames colon get children do um, we'll say local close button equals frame colon find first child close if close button colon if close button then so whatever you have your close button if you have it named as x if you have named it as i don't know x button close button it, it make sure it's in it's make sure it's you know the same here as it is there so as you can see my close button is named close and that's what i have it in my code so if close button then close button dot mouse button one click on connect function uh, for I button in pairs buttons colon get children do button dot visible equals true for I frame in pairs frames colon get children do frame dot visible equals false and then we'll set that uh, game name label back to true so let's go ahead and test out everything now so we spawn in let's go ahead and open up the info frame as you can see the info frame opened up we click x we're back in the main menu the credits frame and we can just go back and forth and as you can see it is opening up the correct the correct frame every time and now let's click play and we spawn into the game and let's just see there's let's just add a little bit uh something else so we'll, let's add some audio let's add a click sound so let's just find one that one works we'll make a new folder called sounds and we will just um we'll say Uh, we'll say we'll get the sounds folder up here. So we'll say local sounds equals UI colon wait for child sounds, and then we could just say um, sounds dot click colon play, and then we could just copy this code and put it to wherever we see a button. So we could put it like where, wherever we see a button gets clicked. So mouse button mouse button one clicked, and those functions we could just put sounds dot click colon play so let's go ahead and hit play and see if we have sounds now and we do but um we'll say as you can see we just when we hit play it like got cut out so to disable this we'll go to sounds click and then in properties click play on remove and we can just go ahead and take out when we clicked on the um when the when we click on the play button we can take out the part where we play the sound so all this works and then when we click the play button it still plays all the way through so that's how you make a simple main menu screen in roblox um this will be linked in the description with all the code everything in it for you guys to take um and use and customize however you would like uh quick you know the the event and the code for the event won't be in the model neither will the camera part or any of these the scene um so you guys have to make that on your own but uh again you can just follow the tutorial on how to set those up uh, but everything in this main menu uh ui will be linked in the description including the handler script for you so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like subscribe it really helps out the channel if you guys have any suggestions or concerns or comments on the tutorial uh please leave them in the comments below suggestions when i say suggestions i mean suggestions for future tutorials future stuff future videos 
Um, and that's really it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.